All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the 2023 offseason for your Buffalo Sabres, and we have the eighth overall pick going into this draft. Now, quickly, we saw this last episode. We're going to quickly look into our draft board. Our projected picks for the first round is Braden Yeager, Zachary Benson. Uh, it's going to be one of these two. Out of the two men, honestly, I, I kind of want to go with Benson. Uh, maybe Yeager's a better play. He's a center. He's 6'1", 169. Uh, and then Benson's 5'10", uh, 158. So if Jaeger doesn't go 7th, maybe we go ahead and get Zachary Benson. So with that being said, this episode, we're going to go through the uh, entry draft. And then we're going to go through the re-sign stage and free agency. And the next video will be the start of the 2024 uh, season. So that being said, we're starting the NHL entry draft. New Jersey has the first overall pick. Anaheim the second. So we're all the way here at number nine. So we don't have the number eight pick. We have the number nine pick, actually. Um, is it worth trading up? I don't think so. Like, obviously, it would be get Connor Bedard, right? Um, but, like, realistically, like, what would, we ha what would we have to give up for our first overall pick from New Jersey, right? So, obviously, we'd be sending our first overall pick back the other way, okay? We're going to have to give up someone on our roster for sure. So who are they looking at from our team that has some sort of trade value that we're willing to give up? Maybe like an Alex Tuck, but at the same time, I'm not really willing to give him up. Do I Would I rather give up Victor Olofsson? Maybe. Maybe a Victor Olofsson we can give away. Uh, but like, okay, let's say we throw Victor Olofsson. That's not going through right away, right? Can we get away with giving away a first overall pick? And maybe, let's say, one of our seconds. Do we need two seconds? Not necessarily. I don't think this still goes through, and I don't think this is a fair trade at the same time. Um, maybe we do a first and a second, and maybe like someone that's matching the block with not too much trade value that we're willing to give up that is maybe up there in age. Maybe like a Clegg we can give up, 25 years old. He's a depth defenseman. They're interested in him. Maybe a Clegg, a second, and a first for their first overall pick. I still don't see this going through. We'll try it out, and it's rejected. So I don't want to give up too much. Even a first and a second, like, okay, obviously our first, we're getting back the first overall pick. At the same time, we're giving away a second. Clegg is fine. Like, who else are they interested in that maybe we're willing to give up that is up there in age? No, no one really that we're willing to give up. Goalies, they're interested in this kid. Uh, do, you, do we willingly give up a prospect? I still don't think this goes through. So, you know what? We're going to stick with our pick. Do we want to trade for the second overall pick? Um... With Anaheim, possibly, maybe they would want a little less to give away, so we'd give away our first, and who who interests them? There's a minute on the board here. Not much really interests them, and it's all the rookies that we do want to keep that are probably going to be playing for us sometime. Um, do we want to do a first and a second, per se? Probably not. I do see this going through, but is it worth it? A first and a second, we're trading up for the second overall pick. We can try it. Trade rejected. So you know what? We're going to stick with our pick. So with that being said, let's just sim to our pick. Sim to pick nine. Let's see who went where. Ooh, Benson and Jaeger are gone. So the two players that we were looking at are gone. Absolutely gone. Obviously, Bedard goes first. Uh, we got Valisi going to, to Anaheim. Lots going to the Habs. Christensen going to the Flames. So we're going to call a timeout here. Give us seven minutes on the board to see what is up here and what uh, what we're looking at. So we're looking at this kid. He's an elite medium. 55 games played. Right wing sniper. 6'3", 200 pounds. Uh, 14 goals, 9 assists, and 55 games played. Uh, A minus B, 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 C, C. Um, would mesh well in any locker room. Has very well-rounded personality. Similar style to Eric Stahl. Uh, NHL ETA is two years, and oh my god, look at those X-Factors. Snipe, seeing eye, close quarters, shock and awe, and big rig. This might be our pick. He's projected to go 14th overall. So do we maybe trade down? Maybe trade down to the 12th or 13th pick or the 14th pick? Or do we just take the shot and get him now? So I'm not too sure. I, I, I am interested in this kid. I think he's one that I want to go to go for. This guy is supposed to go 10th overall. I'm I'm very interested in in this kid right here. Do like his rank is 14th overall. I don't know if it's worth trying to trade down. Like uh, what what realistically? Let's say we wanted to trade for the 12th overall pick, 
right? We're going to get rid of our pick. What else can we... I, what else can we realistically get from these guys? No one really. So you know what? We're just going to take him at, at ninth overall. I don't see trading down a smart move. So this kid here, Holtonen. Holtonen? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, looks pretty good. NHL ETA is two years. I think that's a good pick from the Buffalo Sabres. So we will take... Um, Casper Holtonen. Welcome to the Buffalo Sabres organization. Let's sim to our 40th overall pick here. So we got, we got a couple picks coming up here. Let's see what's available. Uh, do we have any gems? We do. He's supposed to go 48th overall. That's a pick that we have right now. Um, 36 games played, 2 goals, 3 assists, 32 penalty minutes. 5'11", 178. Uh, we already drafted a right winger. Do we think he's the guy? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Look in here. These guys can all wait. We're looking at this guy, but 98th overall can definitely wait. He looks actually pretty decent, not too bad. Okay, so let's see. Uh, obviously, I didn't do drafting enough because there's not much known here, which is unfortunate. Uh, so maybe we just do it like this. We had a left wing, 5'11", Nikolai Malkov. Um, shock and awe, spin around, and ankle breaker, send it. ETA is two years. Uh, had a decent, not not the greatest year, actually, to be honest. He might drop. Um, is there anyone that could maybe, like, make this team? And, like, damn, okay, not a lot of these guys are good. We, we are looking at, at, at these guys, these guys that are starred over here. Uh, he's interesting. Theo Jonas didn't really do too much, but has some very good X factors. So maybe we can turn him into something there. Um, he's 50. He's projected to go 55th. We could probably take him with our next pick. Um, other than that, top six forward. I don't know what to do here. Let's call another timeout. Give us some more time to kind of decide what we're going to do with our next couple of picks. Because uh, I really don't know what the play is here. We're, we're looking at Malkov too. Uh, we yeah, we looked at this guy already, right? So like he can definitely be one of the picks, and then maybe we go with this kid over here who has a lot of good X factors. ETA is three years. We take a chance on Theo Jonas maybe. Other than that, I don't really see anyone that really pops out to me. I'll be real honest with you. So. With that being said, we got Elite Medium Brigley. He had a pretty good year. Um, no synergies. Left wing, you know what? Doesn't look bad. Let's pin him. We're going to keep looking at him. AHL top two, Elite Medium. Center. Ooh, he's another good kid there. Let's pin him as well. And yeah, so I think the play with the this pick over here, I think we are going to go with... Malakov was that, was that the was that the play maybe go Malakov or maybe we go oh or maybe we go him he so we could probably wait for Jonas I like the synergies that he had the yeah the uh, X factors that he has and then is there a way to look at our pinned players where where do you see the pinned players I pinned players and they're not here but I think we're gonna go he's supposed to go fifty fifth right. Um, when's our next pick? So we get a t we could probably wait for one of the players that we pin. So with that being said, I think the play is to go with Malakov first. Take a little shot on him. His NHL ETA is two years as well. So let's go Malakov. That's one of our picks there. We're going to go to our 42nd overall pick. Uh, we're going to decline that. And we are going to go with, I think it was Theo Jonas that we were looking at. Uh, looks pretty decent. Left wing, 6'1". Uh, decent little stats. Third eye. Uh, no similar style. Seems incredibly loyal. And is very, okay, so you know what? We'll go with Theo Jonas there. And those are two pretty good picks. So we two left wingers. And in the first round, we took a center, I believe. Or a right winger. So... If we can go for a defense, maybe, maybe a different little pick there. We could definitely do that. So we're simming to pick 59. Uh, we're getting some trade offers for picks. We're going to just say no to whatever's there. 
Um, the guys that we pinned, are they still available? So Brigley is still available. He's another winger, but this guy just really does intrigue me. 58 games played, 14 goals, 36 assists. He was a plus 6. Um, his ETA is 3 years. Keeps the emotions in check. Very loyal, but can lack the drive to win. That's that's a little... Ooh, that's a, that's a little... Uh, kind of wants, wants to hold back there. Uh, Petrie looks pretty good. Peter, Petrie, I don't know. F 57 games played, 15 goals, 16 assists. He is a center. Um, a plus, A, A minus, A minus, B and B. Um, one year uh, NHL ETA. I'm kind of interested in him. 81st overall pick. Uh, when do we, When's our next pick? Do we have a third rounder? Like, Can we wait till the third round? We don't even have a third rounder. So you know what? I'm going to take him in the, in the second round. I know we're like... He's projected to go pretty late, but uh, I don't want to risk losing him. So I think we're going to go with uh, with him for sure. Petrie, I think his name was. Peter, Petrie, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below what how to pronounce his, his name. I feel so bad. Okay, so pick 104. Uh, ooh, Travis Hamanick. He's got a year left. We're trading our fourth for Ottawa's fourth next year. I'm probably just going to decline. I'm not interested in Travis Hamanick. So that's all right there. I saw a trade there. Hold on. The... Klingberg has been dealt to the Minnesota Wild. The Bruins, okay, have acquired Jonas Brodeen. Um, interesting. Okay, so some moves are being uh, made here, so that's interesting. Look in here, top nine, medium. Like, who do we want to look at? Is there anyone just on the board that looks kind of promising to us? I'm not too sure. Elite medium. We got a goaltender, which wouldn't be bad. To get it didn't have a great year. 71 games played, 39 wins, and 897 save percentage. B minus, B minus, B. Uh, four years NHL ETA. Uh, Tyler O'Neill, 64 games played, 18 goals, 22 assists, 5-9. He's a center. Um, got some decent X factor, so maybe he's someone that we want to look at. We'll pin him. Uh, are there any good defensemen? Like, I haven't seen anyone really like that really that stands out. Uh, which is honestly crazy to me. There's not nothing that really stands out. We were looking at Ernie before for some reason. I don't know why he's pinned. Um, Baker doesn't look too promising. Oh, we can get Crosby. That's interesting. Uh, so really not any good defenseman. I think what we are going to do is going to go for that kid that we did pin. Uh, this guy's top nine medium. Didn't have a great year. Uh, so let's go with the guy that we pinned. I already forget his name, unfortunately, but he is somewhere down here. Uh, was it, why are these guys starred? Okay, wait, these guys aren't pinned. No. Uh, but these guys we have looked at for some reason and they don't really intrigue me. Um, I think we're going to go with O'Neal, another center. He had a good year, great synergies, ankle breaker, spin around with wheels, elite edges. So Tyler O'Neal, welcome to the Buffalo Sabres organization. Sim to pick 136. Got another trade coming. Pizchik, uh for a fifth. Nah, we're good. We're going to go with a defenseman here. Uh, I don't know. He didn't have that great of a year, but maybe he's something that can turn into something. He's one of the better defensemen that I saw in the draft. We're going to send to pick 168. We have a lot of draft picks, which is good. It's just we're running out of uh, players that we're looking at. Are there any gems left on the board? There are not. Uh, any decent little players that might just catch our eye that could be a little bit decent. It doesn't really look like it, to be honest. AHL top two. Doesn't look the greatest. Four years. We were looking at him while scouting him. Maybe we just go for him since we've been looking at him. Give him a little shot there. Uh, Sim to pick 200. We are in round seven. Um, like I said, anyone that's really good. Let's see who we scouted. Uh, if there's anyone decent that maybe uh, might make the team. Uh, hmm. I can't look into them for some reason. Interesting. Okay, I don't know if that's a glitch or what. Scouted players. Maybe it isn't. No, it's glitched. All right, cool. So we can't really tell. Let's just go. We need defensemen. We're going to take defensemen as we can. You guys are probably hating the way I'm drafting right now. Uh, I apologize. Um, but I really can't look into what these players are looking like, to be honest, which actually sucks. Um, so let's go with a goaltender, maybe. Sure. And we should be done our pick. So sim the entire draft. That is done. So we made 
a bunch of selections. We had we made two, four, six, eight, nine selections in the 2023 NHL entry draft. So uh, let's sim to the resign stage. Uh, uh, resign stage. We're gonna look at coaches. I think we want a better coach. No offense to Tukarski, just not a fan of him. So we're gonna probably fire him and look for a better coach. And when the time comes, uh, that's when we'll go do it. Uh, we have scouts with a signing or with. <laughs> Uh, that need contracts so we'll, we'll sort out the coaching staff and everything let's go to the resign stage see who needs to be re-signed who we're going to be bringing back for this year so looking at our rfas uh we have a bunch ufas we have a bunch as well so top priority here we want dylan cousins back he's going to be a guy that's going to be here for a long time so if i can lock him up to an eight year deal he wants 9.1 okay maybe not an eight year let's hit a little bit of a five year deal Let's see if he'll take 6-1, um, and hopefully he'll stay with the team. We have 27 mil in cap space, so let's see if he'll do that. Asplund, uh, I'm good with a like a two-year kind of deal for you, 25. We'll give him 2-2-5, two, two, see if he'll take that. Clay, 25, how much are you looking for? Do I think you're worth that much? Probably not, uh, so I'll come back to you. Bork, uh, fine with giving you something like that. Roostalainen, again, fine with these guys just getting like little deals here and there. Are you worth a mil? Absolutely not. Um, what's your potential? Top nine forward. I'll give you a year at 800K um, and we'll, we'll go from there. We'll talk about next year. Davies, not Alfonso, sign him up. Fitzgerald, sign him up. Uh, okay, now uh, UFAs. Anyone big that we want to bring back. So we got Kyle Ocposo. I'm fine with bringing him back for a year at 1.6. Uh, our captain, Vinny Henestroza, one year at that, two-way, yeah, 100%. Ryan Reeves, you know what? We need some uh, some grit on this team. We'll bring back Ryan Reeves. Uh, Pilut, uh, we'll bring you back as well. Uh, are there any goalies with expiring contracts? Uh, Malcolm Subban, we will definitely bring back for the AHL. Ooh, at a mill, definitely not. Ben Bishop, we're going to release. We'll probably release you as well, Malcolm Subban. No offense. Um, any RFAs and goaltending? No. So goaltending is all sorted out. Let's sim a day, see who says yes, who says no. Ocposo's back. Asplin's back. Vinny Henestroza wants more money, okay? Dylan Cousins is... Coming back with the team. Bjork's coming back with the team. Ryan Reeves wants more money. P. Lute wants more money. Fitzgerald is back. Murray is back. Davies is back. Roostalainen is back. Okay, so there you go. We still have players that do want contracts. we got to sign Rasmus Dali next year as well. Uh, so we will do that. Uh, so, looking here. Our first overall pick. Where is he? Where is our first overall pick? Halton, and this was our first overall pick. Uh, do we think he's ready? You know what? We're gonna sign him up, play him in the AHL three years, send him to an s sign him to an entry level deal. Pilu wanted some more money. Um, one year. Uh, do I want to give you a mil? Not really. So I'm definitely fine with releasing you, my friend. Vinny Henestroza wants more money. Uh, you know what? I'm good with that. We'll give you maybe a two year deal. He wants more than 975, which means 950. Let's I don't know if we offered him that. I, I honestly can't remember. Malone will bring back. We'll bring you back. These are just guys that, you know, we need contracts on the team. We're bringing them back for a year or whatever. So uh, Ryan Reeves says he wants more money. So he wants to be on a one-way. Uh, we'll throw him on a one-way. If he gets claimed off of waivers, you know, it is what it is. Give him a one-year deal there. Uh, how much cap space do we have left? We have 20 mil in cap space left. So these guys aren't really anything to really worry about. Uh, I'm just going to quickly offer all these guys contracts and I'll get back to you guys when that is done. We're going to give Clegg a three-year deal at 1.6. Uh, see if he accepts a that dollar amount. Other than that, I don't think there's anyone that's really like wanting money that's a key part of this team right now. So again, I'll get back to you guys once I'm done offering all these contracts, which I'm actually done doing. Wow. All right, let's advance the day. He says yes. Vinny Henestroza wants more money. Okay, buddy. Uh, Ryan Reeves is staying. Clegg is staying. All these guys are staying for the most part. And our first overall pick has been signed. So who is left that said no? Uh, we got 19 mil left. So there, there are some players that we can maybe sign. Do we want to sign like these kids? 19 years old. Elite potential. Like, I, I, hmm, interesting. Okay. 
I kind of do want to sign him, see what he's all about. But maybe we'll give these kids a, a couple more years and talk to them when they're 19. Vinny Hinnestroza wants more money. So he's going to want a one-year deal. We'll give you a one-year deal. Hopefully you'll take a mil. If not, like you're going to walk, my friend. All right. And then Prisky, maybe I didn't offer you a contract. Maybe I did. I'll give you a little bit more money there. And then everything should be good in terms of that. Uh, so those guys are signed up. Now, looking at the coaching staff, are we able to start hiring coaches? Uh, it does not look like it. Let's re-sign coach. Okay, so we'll re-sign the associate coaches. Not a problem. These coaches need contracts, so they're going to get the contracts. We could probably get a better goalie and assistant coach, actually. So I'm going to fire the assistant coach here. I'm going to fire the goalie coach. And AHLs, whatever. We're going to have to sign, assign some more scouts as well. Okay, so that's that. We just got to figure out our front office there kind of thing. Um, okay, so Udy's giving me some attitude. I don't know what that's about. You're definitely not getting a head coaching gig, so... I don't know who the hell you're talking to. Uh, we'll hire back Brendel. Or, you know what, is there anyone better? We'll bring in Ladd, Andrew Ladd. Uh, let's give him some money here. Six years, Andrew Ladd. Come to the Buffalo organization. And that means that we should be good to hire some coaches. So let's go hire coaches before we look into any free agency hiring. Okay, so hire coach. What is available? And there's some good coaches available. So DuPont is looking pretty good. A plus, A plus, A minus, A plus, A, A plus. The team, 57 overall, fifth, 45, 63. What was he? 57, 63, 64, 67. So we're looking at Lang Lang Langloss, A plus, A minus, A plus, B, A minus, B plus, B minus. So we'll take him. We'll sign him to maybe a four-year kind of deal. Uh, we'll give him 3-4 offer contract. Okay. Uh, now we're looking for an associate coach. And this guy was 57%. This guy's 68%. Um, oh, he's a head coach though, right? Or is this guy? No, okay. So Juden Cohen is going to come in as an associate coach. Uh, we'll do four years as well. We'll bring them both in for the same amount of term. And that's that. Okay, so that's coach is done. We'll have an associate coach. We'll have a head coach. We need an assistant coach, so let's go and do that. Uh, hire coach. We need an assistant coach and grow role. Uh, uh, let's see. All right. So someone associate associate. Like maybe we can hire one of these head coaches um, that have decent little team fit. So sixty seven percent. Leclaire maybe could be someone. We'll give him an associate coach role. We'll do a four year contract as well. And we'll give him 3.5. Let's see if he's going to take that dollar amount. We actually don't know. Okay, so coaching staff, uh, offers have been sent out. Okay, so now looking at free agency, who is available with the $19 million we have in hand? Okay, so we got Rope Hints. We got Vladimir Tarasenko, Ryan O'Reilly, Pavelski, Klingberg, uh, Orlov, Jordan Stahl. Okay, so realistically, we have 19 mil. We want to bring in a free agent that is probably young, someone like a Rope Hints. Do we want to spend 10.1? This is the issue now is who do we have to sign next year? We're going to have to sign Rasmus Dahlin, who I kind of just want to see if we're able to sign him now. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we are going to have to sign Rasmus Dahlin, okay? So let's see who we need to sign. It's going to be Olsen. It's going to be, we're probably going to let these guys walk. It's going to be Dahlin. It's going to be Owen Power. It's going to be Yoki Haru. It's going to be Middlestack, Krebs. Like these young players are going to need contracts. Now, Dahlin. Offer contract extension. He's not looking for too much, man. Okay, so I want to lock him up to an eight-year deal. I will gladly give him 7.5. If he accepts 7.5, that'd be great. Let's just get some of these contracts out of the way. All right, we'll do 7.55 for Rasmus Dahlin. Owen Power, what is he looking at right now? He wants money, dog. He wants money, and he knows he's a good player. Henry Yokiharu wants some decent little money. Casey Middlestat, decent little money. Peyton Krebs. Maybe he's someone we talk to now. Maybe we let the season go on for him. Owen Power. Oh, man. All right. We're going to wait for Owen Power, dude. But he wants upwards of 10. So that means Rope Hints is probably not a viable option to sign in free agency. Even though he's one of the top young players uh, to be signed at the moment. Okay. So 
Uh, who's available? Dave Severson, we don't really need defensemen. Again, Rope Hints would be just a great little contract to bring in, but at 10-1, I don't think we can afford that. Bo Horvat at 28, still up there. Uh, 27 for Barbashev. Uh, Nick Bonino, uh, 23 years old. Uh, he's definitely someone we could take a shot on. Uh, is he an RFA? I hope not. We'll give him we'll give him a two year deal at one point two and see what he does with that. So no, see again. So we gotta look at UFAs here. Ethan Bear is interesting, but again, we don't need defensemen. Twenty six. Pavel Zaka is interesting. He had a pretty decent season. I think Pavel Zaka would be a good contract to bring in for a couple years. So let's do three six. Uh, again, UFA. We need RFAs here, man. All right. Let, let's just do this the easy way. Let's do RFAs. And let's see who is the youngest RFA players here. Or no. Yeah. RFAs? No, RFAs, you gotta... Yeah, we need UFAs here, okay? So, <laughs> UFAs. And let's go to overalls and see who's available here That's that's young, okay? So... Again, we're looking to bring in some young guys here. Barbashev, 27, like still a little too up there. Uh, 26, Ross Colton, wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, three years at 2.3, I wouldn't mind. Or we could do two years at 1.8. So let's do two years at 1.8 or 1.775 for Ross Colton. I think that's a good little contract to come and bring in. Michael Bunting is someone that's interesting. Do we want five years at that dollar amount? Probably not. Um, Donato could be someone you bring in for a year, maybe. Uh, we just got to ice some decent players up there. Ryan Donato, maybe we pass on that. 26, Gambrel, top six, medium. He's a fourth liner. Andre Kasha, 27. No one really young out here. We'll take a shot on Valmaki, maybe. Um, top four defenseman. Yeah, you know what? We could take a shot on Valmaki. We'll give him a three. Let's give him a... Two-year contract at 1.9. See if he accepts that. Um, Suter, uh, 27. We could probably wait on that. 25 for Tyson Joss. Uh, maybe kind of try to revive his career. We'll give him a one-year uh, one deal at 1 mil. Um, other than that, there's no one really. Goaltender, we probably do need a backup goaltender. Uh, so if we can do that, that'd be great. Do we want to bring back Craig Anderson? Maybe he's someone that we do bring back. Uh, let's bring in, you know what? Let's bring in Jonathan Quick. Give a little veteran presence. Two mil for, uh, Jonathan Quick there. Are there any young goaltenders in here that we could probably pick up? Mackenzie Blackwood, uh, had an okay year last year when you joysy. Um, decent little guy. I kind of want to see what UPL can do for this team. And maybe we'll talk about goaltending next year. Uh, so other than that, I think I'm pretty content with that. Maybe this is someone we want to bring up. We don't know. He's a potential starter. You know what? Give him a little three-year, give him a little two-year deal. See what he does in the minors. And then other than that, it's looking okay. Dostal doesn't look like anything too special there. Again, to bring in someone like Rope Hints, man, uh, I, I don't think it's something that we can do with a dollar amount that he wants. As much as I would love to bring in a Rope Hints, it's just not going to be possible, okay? So... I think those are good contracts to bring in. Let's see what happens here. Uh, Vinny Hinostroza, we want to keep on and hold on to him. We'll advance another day. Ooh, LeClaire is the head coach for the Avs. Okay, so is that who we offered? Is that who we offered to be the head coach for this team? That's what I am uh, a little worried about. Okay, so uh, he was. He was the head coach that we wanted, and he's going elsewhere, unfortunately. Okay, so... Let's go back here. Who's a coach that can potentially fit in 45, 63, 67 for Lang for Lang loss? So we'll give him a contract. Uh, I want to give him a four year. Let's give him the money that he need. Oh, we only have 3.9 to spend on him, eh? Is that all we have, really? Let me see. I think 3.9 is the max we can go for this guy. Oh, no. What am I talking about? I don't know. That was weird. Okay, so let's go to 4.2. We'll give him a contract. We want him to be the head coach. Let's see what he could do. He, he fits the team pretty well. So we're hoping that he could be a guy that comes in and helps this team just kind of um, progress well. Not that we want to like necessarily do good and win. We want to progress well. So Andrew Ladd is coming in as a scout. So that's pretty cool. He's welcomed into the Buffalo organization. Langloss, I'm going to reject... 
uh, you have not offered me as many years as I'm looking for. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to Langla. I was going to accept your contract, but it's already full. Cowan. Okay, give me a second here. Uh, Jonathan Quick is coming to the Sabres. Uh, Tyson Joss is declining. Your roster is full with no more room. Ooh, okay. We do not have a lot of room. Ross Colton's coming in. That's good. Uh, Prostov's coming in. Okay, so that's good. Uh, a couple guys we didn't get because our roster is full, which is interesting. Let's go look at our coaching staff. Um, who was it that said that the role's already filled? It was Langloss, right? We want him to be the... This was the guy that we wanted to be the head coach. Am I correct? Right? So we want you to be the NHL head coach. You want six years, we'll give you six years gladly. Uh, we'll do 4.2 again. He just didn't want five years. He wanted the six. We'll give him the six. Not a problem, all right? So 4.258 is what I offered him first time around. We'll do the same thing there. Um, we do need a, an assistant coach, I believe. Um, so let's go do that. Uh, assistant coach. Who's someone that would fit into this team pretty well? 57, 57, 52, 64. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll do assistant coach, we'll do four years, and we will give you the money that you want, my friend. There you go, all right, so that's all good. Now quickly looking at our team, I just wanna see what the team is gonna be looking like that we ice. Those players that declined couldn't come in because we have full contract spots, all right? So centers here, we have Tage Thompson, Dylan Cousins, Ross Colton, and Middlestad, all right? A uh, couple that can play the wing. Left wingers, one, two, three, four. Right wingers, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Defenseman, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we don't have to go out and get anyone else. Uh, it's good. We're chilling, all right? So let's just sim, see if the coaches say yes. Langloss is going to another team. So that hurts. Rasmus Dahlin is renewing his contract with us, so that is huge. I feel like we got him at a pretty good dollar amount there. Now, back to the coaching staff. We need a head coach, guys. And uh, the people that we wanted have said no, all right? So 57%, 57, 64. So let's go 57. He wants four years. Give him the money, man. Give him the money. We'll give him a million dollars more than he actually wants. We'll give him 4-4. Four, four. We just need a coach to land here in Buffalo, like plain and simple. We'll give him 4-2, four, 4-2-4, four, four, and uh, hopefully he will come to Buffalo as we do need a head coach uh, pretty badly here, okay? So, uh, advance a day. Langloss has said no. He's decided to go somewhere else. Uh, Cowan is coming to the team as an assistant coach, so that is nice to see. And we're waiting on one more coach. Kessler has decided to go with another team at this time. So, we are struggling to bring in, to bring in a head coach, which is actually crazy to me. I can't believe that, like... How are we struggling to bring in a head coach right now? I I'm not too sure, but we need one badly. And Kessler might be the guy, uh, and hopefully he will accept this contract offer. All right, so Kessler, we don't have much budget left remaining here, but we need it. We need a head coach here, man. We need a head coach. Let's give him 4-2, or let's give him 4-4. I don't even know if we could, all right? I don't know if we have the, the, the monies for it, but we will see when the time comes. 4-4, we need a head coach badly here in Buffalo that can help these young guys progress well, all right? So we're getting some trade offers, waiting for a coach, and he's going to Tampa. So we're struggling to bring in a coach. No one wants to head coach these Buffalo Sabres for some reason, which isn't good, man. We need a head coach, and all the good head coaches are actually gone now. We're probably going to have to go with someone like him, 58%, Parrot. Uh, he's an associate coach. This guy's an actual head coach. Maybe we go with him. We'll give him a two-year deal. Head coach, we'll give him 2.2 mil. Or not 2.2. We'll give him maybe 1.9. I, I can't believe that we're struggling this hard to find a head coach for this team. Uh, this guy's not going to be here for long, so we're going to give him a two-year deal. And then we do need a goalie coach as well, apparently. Um, so we will do that as well. Let me go hire a goalie coach quick. Uh, defenseman, defenseman, goalies, 54%, this guy's 57, so let's go with you, we'll do a three-year deal, and 900k, 
and that should be all our staff ready to go if they both accept and hopefully they will both accept man all right advance a day advance another one okay so we got a head coach alexander label is coming in for two years uh at 1.9 mil to uh coach this buffalo sabers team so that's cool we're just waiting on the goalie coach now and it's already filled apparently so we're good on goalies then we're good on goalie coach we're good. We are going to sim to next season. And uh, next video will be the start of the 2023-2024 NHL season. All right, boys? So we're getting some trade offers here. Nothing that's really intriguing me. Tyler Myers at 6 mil. Absolutely not. Nick Letty. No, we don't need defensemen. We need forwards if, if that's what you guys are going to offer me. Sergei Bobrovsky at that dollar amount is not something we're looking for. Henestroza for picks. Not something we're looking for. Ocposo for a second and a seventh. We'd be giving up a third in Ocposo. We get a second for this year, though. We'd lose a third for next year. Nashville's a good team, though. Like, the second isn't going to be a high overall second. We're probably just going to decline, but it's good to see that Ocposo's getting um, high enough picks like that. So that is promising for trade deadline. Uh, Ristolainen and not looking like someone we want to go after. And we are heading into the season. Ottawa wants the, to give up their second for Hinnestros. A lot of people want Hinnestros and Ocposo, which is interesting. Uh, so let's quickly, we're going to set up all the lines. And then we are going to quickly uh, end the video and head into the next one where we will start the season. All right. So first line of Tage Thompson, Skinner, and Tuck. Uh, looks good to me. Reeves, this line is getting a minus one. Peyton Krebs over here on that fourth line. I kind of want him on that third. Uh, Ross Colton is a dedicated center. Cousins, maybe throw Cousins on that first line. And then throw Peyton Krebs up here. And then throw Tuck here. And then throw Ocposo there, maybe. Uh, and that kind of works out. Maybe throw Middlestad at the center. And do that, maybe. Asplin playing fourth line minutes is not ideal. But it's something that we're going to look at there. Defensively, Darlene. We got power on the second line. Uh, Darlene, Hope. Okay, okay, yeah, I mean, this is what the team's going to be looking like, guys. It's not going to be great. I want UPL to be getting majority of the starts, but that is what the team's looking like. Captain-wise, if no one's... Okay, so Ocposo's still the captain, which is cool, but he might get dealt at the at the deadline, okay? So everything's good there. Start of the season is here. We're going to end the video here and hope that the Sabres will uh, not only tank, but that our young players uh, do get upgraded where they need to be. So now Halton, and this is our first overall pick. I want him on that first line for sure. So everything is set up good for next episode, and that is where we will catch you guys next video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.